TSA stops for the busy holiday traveller are meant to be convenient and efficient, and there should be a good range of reasonably priced food and beverages. In our hidden camera trial, we visited six taupo cafes over the summer holidays. We'll be taking note of the service, general cleanliness and food quality. There are some basic key principles when it comes to good customer service. Staff should be efficient, courteous and helpful when they're delivering the food and clearing away the plates. So let's see how our cafes fare. First up is Take a Break. Our actor enters, is greeted with a smile and places her order. Can I get a chicken burger, please? Our actor will order a burger or panini, some fries and a coffee at each cafe. Everything looks clean, including the tabletop. The coffee is delivered in only two minutes. And the burger and the chips arrive in under ten. It's great stuff. We'll be timing how long it takes for staff to clear the dirty dishes. According to our service expert, it should be done in under five minutes. But it takes 14 minutes and that's too long. The final test is to see how helpful they'll be when our actor asks for street directions. If you knew where um, Rifle Range Road was? Yes, you do. She takes her outside and even draws an imaginary map with a finger on the table. Nice one. To the overall results for Take a Break. The food and the service were average. The cleanliness was above average. So were the directions the staff member gave. The meal cost $18 and we've given them 7 out of 10. The next cafe is Indulgence and the staff member takes the order. The services are clean, that's good to see, and the coffee arrives in three and a half minutes. Then the panini is served. Ideally though, everything should come out at the same time. This isn't a good look, she's wiping her nose. She should wash her hands. It's basic food safety to wash your hands thoroughly before touching any food preparation equipment. And the plates aren't cleared, so it's up to the counter for street directions. And he also draws a map. Very good. To the results, the cleanliness and service standard were average, but the food quality was above average and the directions were excellent. At $12.70, this was the cheapest meal of our trial. We've given them 7 out of 10. Up next is Body Fuel Cafe. A warm greeting. Hi. And he checks that the order is correct. Have, uh, three, four, panini, curly fries and the coffee is brought to the table in three minutes. The panini is delivered. Yep, our actor ordered fries, which arrived shortly. Thank you. The snack over. Will they clear the plates? Yes, within 45 seconds. Directions next. Yeah, next door uh, on the internet lounge. Yeah. Got a map there of oh, that's helpful. To the results, the food quality was excellent. Both the cleanliness and the service were above average. $19 for the meal made it the second most expensive of our trial, but we've given them a final score of 9 out of 10. After the break on target, this waiter is more interested in talking than cleaning the table. Our hidden camera trial of cafes continues. So far in our hidden camera trial of Taupo cafes, we've experienced the best of both worlds. We've had some really good service, but we've also seen some pretty bad hygiene practices. Next stop, Taste Cafe. Our actor is given a menu. The general cleanliness is good. Next, the waitress takes the order. Where take your order? And the coffee arrives in three minutes. The food in under nine, but the chips are cold and there's hardly any filling in the chicken panini. And it's 19 minutes until the plates have finally cleared. That's not good. Next, our actor asks for directions. Yeah. To the results, the meal cost $20.30, the most expensive of our trial, and was not good value for money. The cafe was clean, though. We've given them 6 out of 10. Next is Hub Cafe, placing the order. The table isn't clean. There's finger marks all over the glass top. He delivers the coffee after six minutes. No smile from this waiter. Or when he delivers the burger and the chips, and there's two dirty marks on the inside of the bowl. The plates are now ready to be cleared, but he's otherwise engaged. After 20 minutes, he finally takes them away. So how will he go giving directions? Not really. It's that way. As far as I know. Okay. <laughs> um, tenable. Well, not much of an effort at all. So to the overall results, the food quality, cleanliness and service standard were average. The meal cost $18.50 and we've given it a final score of 4 out of 10. Our last stop is Fast and Fresh Bakery Cafe. Our actor enters. <laughs> She's very friendly. The tables are clean except for sauce on the salt shaker. The coffee arrives in three minutes and the food is served promptly. It's hot and fresh, but no cutlery is served, so it's up to the bench to get it. The meal is finished, but 15 minutes later the plates still haven't been cleared, which is not a good look. As for the street directions... You wouldn't know where Rifle Range Road is? 
the very least, she could have asked another staff member if they knew. To the results in the food quality, cleanliness and service standard were all average, but this was the second cheapest meal of our trial at $14.10, a final score of 5 out of 10. To the overall results, and Body Fuel Cafe came out on top for both food quality and service. The eatery that fared the worst was Taste Cafe. So all in all, the service standards were average except for body fuel, which was above average. Three of the six cafes scored well on cleanliness and the cheapest meal was from Indulgence at only $12.70. The most expensive was Taste Cafe at $20.30. If you visit a cafe and are unhappy with the quality of the meal or the service, talk to a staff member or the manager. Most of the time they'll go out of their way to rectify the situation. If not, well, you can take your business elsewhere.